we pay very close attention to the suggestion and recommendation that you send us in the comment section of our videos. In this channel, we have been discussing a lot about rears and broilers and I have seen in the comment section people asking and suggesting what about the Kenyaji or the indigenous chicken. That is why in today's video, I want to discuss about Kenyaji or the indigenous chicken. I am going to tell you the nutritional requirements of indigenous or Kenyaji birds. Also, I am going to give you a formula to formulate your own Kenyaji feeds. Stick with me throughout the video because later in this video, I am going to give you alternatives for maize or corn that you can use if maize is not available in your area or maybe you are in a season where other sources of energy can be used because maize is not available at that particular season that you are in right now. I will also tell you what to do when you are uh, trying to change the ingredients of of the feed to your chicken or when you are trying to change the nutritional composition of feeds for your chicken. Therefore, if you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Finish off by hitting that like button. That helps the YouTube algorithm to push our videos to more farmers. Like all the other types of chicken, indigenous chicken need energy, energy proteins that is both animal protein and plant protein they also need minerals and also fibers indigenous chicken are quite resistant to some infection therefore they do not need necessary they do not necessarily need some of the premixes that are added in the layer and broilers indigenous chicken are also capable of digesting and extracting nutrients even in less nutritive sources of feeds. They also have a genes for scavenging which helps them to meet their nutritional requirements. Therefore, the most important thing you are going to do is have a supplementary, something like a supplementary diet to them, especially if your birds are free range. Here is the formula for formulating a 70 kg bag for the Kenyaji or indigenous or some will call, call them the village chicken. Uh, this feed formulation is commonly known as the Kenyaji mash formula. Uh, you will need whole maize, soya bean, you are also going to need omena, you are also going to need maize or the wheat bran and also you are going to need lime. For the whole maize you are going to need 34 kgs. Uh, for the soya bean, you need 12 kgs. For the omena, you need 8 kg. You will notice that the soya bean is the plant protein and the omena is the uh, animal protein. Then the whole maize is the energy. Also now you are going to need maize or the wheat bran and this is why uh, the chicken will be able to get some fiber. Also you should note that the bran will produce some energy that will be utilized by the birds. Finally you are going to need lime. Uh, 6 kgs, uh, you are going to need 6 kgs of lime. Lime is a very good source of calcium. Uh, after you have all these ingredients, then you can grind them uh, separately and mix them up. Use if you have access to a mixer, make sure that you use a mix a mixer because it will mix these nutrients uh, very well and help them to to bind together so that you may not find that some of the bags have more of whole maize than others some have more of protein than others it's good to use a mixer but if you do not have you can also go the manual way and that is by using a spade but a feed mixture is highly recommended and a word of advice is that for farmers who have more than 500 chicken it's advisable to make one ton of feeds at once uh, there are 14 bags of feed in one ton to make one ton of feed multiply each of the ingredients i have given you by 14 ensure that all the feed you make will last for one month and not longer this is because any feed that lasts for more than one month may deteriorate in quality and can affect your chickens uh, let me now discuss the kenyeji or indigenous chicken feeding program the feeding program is very important mainly for two reasons number one is for planning and number two it helps you to avoid wastage of feed 
Uh, so on one side as you can see there is the age in weeks and then on the other side there is the feed per bird per day. In the first week the bird should, each bird should feed 12 to 15 grams. In the second week the bird should feed 15 to 21 grams. In the third week now the chicken will feed 21 to 35 grams. Uh, grams in the mm, from week four to week six, six the bird the bird each bird should feed uh, 25 to 30 grams from week seven to week eight each bird should feed 55 to 60 grams from week 16 to 27 each bird should feed 68 to 80 grams and 28 weeks uh, onwards each bird should feed 100 gram of feeds. I had promised you that I will tell you the alternatives that you can use to substitute maize if maize is not available during the season that you are in or if maize is not uh, usually available at your place. There are almost five uh, options that you can use. Number one is barley, sorghum, millet, wheat or oat uh, as you can see on the table. All these grains have almost a similar amount of energy as you can see also on the table. But you should also check on the metabolizable energy. This is the amount, metabolizable energy is very important because this is the amount of energy that each type of grain can produce that is usable to the chicken's body and that will be helpful for the chicken. Make sure that the transition if is gradual. Don't change the ingredients all at once. Also, it is wise that you set a small part of your birds or a small group of your chicken and you give them this, the feed that you want to change to so that you can check if the feed is affecting the laying of or it's, it's positively or negatively affecting the growth of the birds. Uh, then that way you can now transit into the feed that you want to, to change to. Click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the benefits of feeding the pepper powder to your broilers.